killed a few giant bats in my day, Astaria. But never... Wait, wait! Bows down! Gods above! We took you for a goblin! Get up here! I want that gate sealed before they arrive. And we need to talk! Gods above, you're alive! A little light, just as the day seems darkest. I'd given you up for dead at the goblin camp. I'm damn glad to be wrong. But what happened? We've seen the massing in the woods. You led the drow here? By the Nine Hells, why? So, what? We are to be bait for this drow? Gods above, I... If this is what it has come to, then... So be it. You'll need to draw her attention. The horn. Damn things loud as thunder. It'll give our people a chance to take shelter, too. Your courage is catching, it seems. Or perhaps I've finally lost my reason. Make what preparations you deem necessary, and then sound the horn. Let's have this done. This is it. Everything turns on this. Get that damn gate closed! I know that you are all afraid. But I also know that you have been fighting your whole lives. We have never been handed the easy choices or the gentle paths. And this is no different. These creatures would take our lives, our children, our future. And we must resist! A splinter of ice works its way into your mind. A pretty speech. It almost brings a tear to my eye. Now slit his throat and open that gate. The Absolute wants all of them dead. Traitor! You think you can stand against me and the Absolute? I'll dissect you.
I don't think so. Why? Friend of yours? That's... that's the last of them. Timora, smile on me. They're dead. We did it. Watching gods, you did it. They name us outcasts. Hellspawn. Foul blood. But the blood of those who fell today ran as pure as any hero's. So I call us by another name. We are survivors. We are family. The road to Baldur's Gate is a long one yet, but you have earned every stride so far. Make your preparations. We leave as soon as we're able. You. I don't know if you were sent here by gods or fate, or sheer bloody luck. I don't care. You were a friend when we needed it. And we won't forget that. Should you ever need it, you have family in Baldur's Gate. But we need not speak of departures just yet. We have time. The road is clear. And I, for one, could use a bloody drink. We'll join your camp tonight, if you'll have us. All the watching gods. That's Halsin. He'll have some hard words for Korga, I expect. Go, speak to him. You're the reason he has a grove to return to at all. We'll be here when you're ready to travel. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Yes. Halsin is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. From transforming into a mind flayer, yes. But that is not the only thing these parasites can do. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. 
When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Because I am just like you, and I need an ally. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. No, it isn't safe. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. When I heard they had a drow, God... I'm glad you came. We survived? It looks like I might have to pay you after all. Once we get to the city, of course. You know, that actually sounds pretty good. If you drink as well as you fight, we'll have a lot of fun. This is a beginning, a small one. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place, forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. An error, most grave master. I beg your grace. Grace is bestowed by nature, not me. You will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, the natural order of things. It is up to you to prove the lessons have been learned once more. So as you say, and so it is done, Master. She shows great insolence, but time will humble her, and the Grove still needs her. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. The journey to Moonrise Towers. And all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. Healing can begin. Do not forget who invited those shadows. You have much to learn still. This is only the beginning. An army soon crosses the coast. With Halsin back, at least the Grove might stand a chance. And we've you to thank. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. 
May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. Fair enough. I should not have underestimated you. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. I was certain your parasite had taken hold. I'm glad I was wrong. Thank you for saving Master Halson. For saving my home. For everything. Ha! Huh. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do when you told me about that tadpole. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanus's peace to this place. But I'll have the chance. Thanks to you. Glaive. So why does touching it give me a knot in my stomach? We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? Excellent. Lead the way. than you lot. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! I'll have you know he can also make them blue. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. An adoring crowd, fine wine. I dare say this place is almost civilized. Only to the untrained eye. That was the fifth time they've asked for fireworks. <laughs> Glorified children, those two. Once my training with Leroican is complete, I'll put on a real show for them. Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. 
Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. Yeah. Don't tell Roland, but his magic show might be the highlight. He's been doing them since we were little. He'll make it big in Baldur's Gate. I know it. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Would you look at this place? All these people, happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations too. Not so much. You spend the whole time avoiding swords and schemes. Plus, people just get nastier as the night wears on. I tried to make friends at first. Learned my lesson fast. Better to keep to yourself in hell. Ah, come on. Let's not spoil an effective thing. You point, I rage, we win. Doesn't need to be more complicated than that. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. How was I supposed to know it was made of fire? Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Really? I'm honored. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a gray cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but I unsettle them deep down, as I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Horns this sharp will pop the balloons, you see. And the guests won't take kindly to scars quite so monstrous. Ouch. You don't need to mock me when I'm feeling low. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Some time alone beneath the stars, and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Your words, not mine. But not what I mean. I mean, desperate people, like those refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and 
vinegar for wine. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> Nothing so dramatic. Just you and me and, well, maybe a little death. Figuratively speaking. Let's wait until things quieten down. Once the others are asleep, we'll find each other. Indeed you will, my love. Indeed you will. Consider this a preview for when we get to Baldur's Gate. Remember, the first round's on me. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? <laughs> Lacrissa would approve. One raunchy ballad coming up. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Niogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. A glorious reward for a glorious battle. Go on, have your fun. And do not wipe away a single bead of sweat. It's intoxicating. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Beautiful night, don't you think? Nothing like a brush with destruction to make one appreciate the majesty of a celestial canvas. It's a view I would once have shared with my companion. Though definitely unaccompanied by such revelry. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. Not everyone is comfortable being alone with their thoughts. Though I never felt alone with a book in my hand. Or with her for company. I speak of Tara. My Tressim. Assistant. My constant companion through all the ills and tribulations my hubris has thrust upon me. She'd be most impressed by our efforts saving these tieflings. Proud, even. And I've given her little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable. Wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I'd given up on myself. But Tara never did. It was her encouragement. Her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. After so long being cared for by someone else, it feels good to have repaid the favor. Not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. I'm sure she would approve. You remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress' coattails. So that's what I'm doing. 
I hope. <laughs> Very funny. But as we all know, nymphs are sticklers when it comes to their bathing routines. You, my friend, haven't been near a fresh spring in a ten day or more. Not that I don't appreciate your... musk. Actually rather like it. Well, this seems as good a time as any for me to stop babbling on. Were I to recite that list, I fear we'd be here at dusk tomorrow. Many things, I assure you. But a conversation better saved for another time. With my condition as volatile as it is, I fear any undue... excitement may tip it over the edge. So to speak. Go! Indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself. We should go down. Sherry! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turn it. I need to dance! No. No, I need to lie down. Two tieflings. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> A night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. No more. I can't afford to lose it anymore. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Or perhaps you will be the one taking him. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. And I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. Finally, we're catching up on our puppet master. And the hunt ends at Moonrise Towers. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. So it seems, though I don't know how, You'll have to choose your approach carefully. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. 
But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. The decision is yours, but I'd favor the Underdark. Even a place like that is the lesser evil compared to the Shadow-Cursed Lands. You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. Unfinished business, and a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicius years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. I've chosen a successor as First Druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. evening for once. Perfect for two people who'd like to take some time to themselves, if you catch my meaning. And I do mean sex, to be clear. <laughs> We've been waiting long enough. <laughs> Let's find our own little piece of nowhere. Somewhere we can lose ourselves and forget all this madness. There's a secluded place nearby that should do nicely. Wait until the others are asleep, then come and find me there. Indeed you will, my love. I can't wait. There you are. I've been waiting. Waiting since the moment I set eyes on you. Waiting... to have you.
It's a poem, a gift from Casador. He considered himself quite the artist and used his slaves as a canvas. He composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. You recall the sharp, complex lines of the script. It was written in the language of the Hells. Infernal? I... Who knows? The bastard was insane. Now let's go. We've wasted enough time already. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Now, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. Something terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold? Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. His name is Astarian, but I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out, if I can afford her blood price. Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where, exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. He is right, unfortunately. They are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage. But at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. We've all survived so far. Let's focus on that. It would still be wise to post guards at night. The threat is real. Indeed it is. We should do something about this threat. Wait, that's it. We're just walking away. Fine, but if this comes back to bite us, it's on your head. Go in peace, my friends. I pray our paths cross again. They better bloody not. You've tracked me down again, my friend. Would that I had as much luck with the beast I'm hunting. Line with a fork and one, two, three dots. <clears throat> Bloody infernal. How was anyone meant to read this garbage? <clears throat> what are you doing? It's, uh, well, I have no idea. I've been trying to trace the words, but they may as well be written in Rashimi. I... This isn't your problem, you know. Fine. The jagged script is definitely infernal. The language of the hells. But you can't make out its meaning. And? What can you see? What 
from the hills? What did he do to me? I have absolutely no idea. But it's no poem. Two centuries carrying this. And I can finally see it. No. I could have missed it, of course, but I doubt it. A Cazador was only figuratively hellish. There were never any devils hanging about the crypt. Whatever he's left carved in my flesh, it's a mystery to me. Th thank you, by the way. This is... well, it's something. Will we? How sweet. Yes, darling. So it would seem. Hopefully he bumps into some knolls while stumbling around at night, and that's the last we hear from him. I didn't do anything. I was kidnapped, just like you. It seems Cazador wants me back. It was him, I'm sure. Only he would know to send the Gur after me. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. Perhaps. He probably thought it was funny. But more likely, he's trying to send me a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. Maybe he wants to make an example of me, to show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. Concerned. Do you know the power a vampire lord possesses? He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. First, we have to... Uh, 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 I don't know. Well, if we kill his lackeys, he'll just send more. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. We can probably make an exception for Will. Probably. Oh, darling, I'm... It sounds awful. Well met. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. She could kill me for one, and that's not the worst of it. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Food, hungry. Want, bite. Food. When I see a creature as sweet as that, 
I hardly missed the gate at all. No! Run! It'll be back. Be on your guard, or risk getting a peck. Creature's eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. Come, see, my flesh becomes new flesh. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. The hyena moans softly as its body contorts, ribs cracking and flesh tearing. Yes, come closer. Feed the new flesh. Her belly splits like a rotten fruit, birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. Something's burning. He of the unsleeping eyes, grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. We'll never put this fire out. You're better off helping anyone trapped inside. Can't you see the inn is burning? Help! 
Oh, get out of the way! Keep pushing! Duke Ravengard could be inside! On count of three! One, two! Ravengard? He's here! Yes! Now make yourself useful! Push, damn it! Push! in time. Come. Yeah. I'm afraid Papa thanks must wait. Thank you. Now, how the hell do we get out of here? <coughs> right. I'll try to keep up. No, you should have stayed. You should have been with me. I was in our room. We had a fight. If I just kept my mouth shut about that bloody dowry, she'd still... She'd still be here. It's for a sister's wedding. I made a stupid joke about keeping it. We argued about it for hours. Then she took the dowry and left. She said I'd never see her again. She was right. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm so sorry. Please, just go. I need a moment with her. Councillor Floric, are you all right? Well, by the main God, what's become of you? A story best left for calmer days. Now breathe deeply. Are you in pain? Scorched throat. A few hairs singed off. Nothing a bit of time and, and fresh air can't cure. Gauntlet, a new duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravengard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Report to the Manic and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Councillor. No, it can't be. You mean they've taken my... Yes, Will. The drow have your father. The circumstance of my birth is no matter of pride for neither me nor my father. But pride is no reason to refuse help to my own flesh and blood. How can we help? Rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. Baldur's Gate needs him now more than ever. Trust us to see it through, Counselor.
Moonrise Towers, along the old road, that place is cursed. Few could survive there, unless darker forces are at work. This was no random attack. The Grand Duke was their target. A champion indeed. He's the invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city faces collapse. In fact, I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Thank you. When the Grand Duke returns to the city, he'll hail his only son, a hero. Approach the towers with care. The land itself has been swallowed in shadow. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Remember, Will, courage is found in the battle against fear, not in the defeat of it. So Father said. I won't soon forget. Fist to work. You can put distance between you and yesterday, but you'll never leave it fully behind. Father's words. Hard to argue with them. Floric spoke true. I'm a Grand Duke's son. Not just any Grand Duke. The most influential in the city, if my memory serves me right. And for once, I think it does. Just the one, yours truly. My father and I were close once upon a time, until he disowned me and cast me out of Baldur's Gate. I can't tell you more. The pact forbids it. My lips are quite literally sealed. He made me an exile. That said, I'm not about to let him suffer at the hands of his captors. I've been asking myself the same question. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. I know, and you're right. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers, a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravenguard, a memory of a memory, a man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade, not the shadow he left behind. Monsters everywhere. Kill No. You're not one of them at all. I was ready to run you through, my mistake friend. Yes, it was screaming, waving around its metal. I made him stop screaming. Him? He was the biggest. Now I'm the biggest. An attack. Monsters. Little ones and taller ones. They took the shiny one. He killed many. Looks like there's a chest buried in that hay.
I know this doesn't change anything, but it helps. Thank you. I need some time alone with her. To say goodbye. Hmm. Never mind. A human man awaits you, a spell crackling at his fingertips. He freezes, waiting on your next word. flaming fist. Well, down you go, then. They'll be on us soon, so if you're looking to trade, you'd best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. <sighs> Said you could pop. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Then your answer decides his fate as well as your own. So make it good. I never mentioned any cargo, and I don't care for people poking around in my head. Though it was subtly done, I'll grant you that. Maybe I can use you. We've disarmed the traps, come down! that smell? Not many can talk their way into a Zentarim outpost. I could use someone with your skills. Interested in a job? Cleaning up? We had a steady operation going here. Then someone kidnapped a Duke. Right on our bloody doorstep. The Flaming Fist will want someone to blame, and I don't plan to leave anything pointing our way. Some of our people are missing. More importantly, so is their cargo. Find them. Keep them alive if you can. Failing that, just bring that shipment back. Unopened. I'm offering hard coin, not idle answers. All you need to know is that I'm willing to pay a hideous sum to get it back. Unopened. Good. Backtrack along the road to the east and look for a wagon. Bodies, the usual. Time was. No one dared touch a caravan bearing our colors. Find whoever did this and remind them why. Well, don't you cut a fine figure? Want your portrait done? 
If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroical likeness. Let's say we're his patrons, yeah? Found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs protection. And if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better, eh? Are you looking to buy him? I'm open to offers, mate. Threats, not so much. All right, mate, all right. No need to get arsy about it. Take the money, bastard. If he means that much to you. That is crap would sell anyway. I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? No, don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. Do you know, of all the indignities heaped upon me in this place, that might well be the worst. It seems you've made quite the profit. My patron will see you rewarded. My betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. A noble woman of passion, refinement, and, as it turns out, quite ferocious temper. The latter I learned only after the engagement, when I told her I was in love with someone else. I made a timely retreat into the countryside, to paint and clear my head. To choose, I suppose. Indeed. One to split the very soul. But I dare not dwell on it any longer, lest I weep. And we have your reward to consider, once I have made my way safely back to the city. Say, you... I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some? A hero to the hilt. Seek me out in the city, truly. Beneath my brush, you'll live forever. Until Baldur's Gate, then. That's the symbol of the Absolute, marked in blood.
cutting to the chase. There's an illicit parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. By the gods. You're a sweet sight. Are any of my crew still alive out there? Black hand be thanked. I didn't think anyone would find us. We'll take the chest back to the hideout. I owe you a drink. Lots of drinks. Since when does a mule know what it carries? Of course. I was just about to suggest the same thing. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Thanks again. Hope Zari's treated you to something nice. Any falls behind? Good to see you. Killed any more beasts out there? I owe you one for saving my people. The Zentarim look out for their own. Even if it's Rugen. Here's your coin. As promised. Our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now, but don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Lamps, lads! Sealed lamps! Don't want open flames where we're going. You're a friend of the Zent now. That's worth something in Baldur's Gate. Assuming we make it back there in one piece, Wanted. Something I can help you with? Of course. Got some interesting stock for a friend of the family. What is your interest in the astral plane? Dragon Rider, my kin are near. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Mark Gresham. What? Apart from the dragon? Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that is. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. Rag! That's it. I'm getting out of here. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is y your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. 
We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. The dragons serve Gith Yankee. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. <clears throat> Rider, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Imbecile, stay back. Now, now, child, your pet means to speak. Tell me, pet, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Of course you are not a threat. You are nothing until I tell you otherwise. For you to keep sucking air, it is necessary for you to tell me something of worth. A vessel fell from the sky. We seek a precious weapon that was taken from it. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks is the same one the Absolute's followers are hunting. It's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Help us find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. Don't help them. Don't tell them a thing. We're dead if you do. Do not speak. Your bleating offends my ears. Just stand still. He begins to move his hand in a quick flurry of gestures. You realize he's casting detect thoughts. Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. Unlikely you'd be successful. But it costs me nothing to spare your sorry life. Very well, Istik. Seek out survivors from the ship that crashed on this wretched world. Bring me their heads. Bring me the weapon. If you succeed, the reward will be great. Now go! I required your silence, and you made me a mockery! A Kithrak demanded my head! I should have given him yours. Bah! This is a distraction. The Kithrak deserves the whole of my scorn. How dare he speak my queen's name? How dare he dishonor her child? Do not be naive. I followed protocol. 
I've earned Vlacketh's favor. I will remove the parasite. I will see the Kithrak dead. And I will offer his head to Vlacketh herself. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignoble Gestil Kithrak, will keep me from my purification.